Here at Adafruit, we're big fans of football. A football? Football. And so in honor of the upcoming Super Bowl, we're going to show you how to emblazon your team's logo on these mini helmets with electroluminescent panel. It's kind of like EL wire, except that the phosphor is spread out over a plane to make the whole area glow. So in today's project, I'll show you how to use this vinyl cutter and a sharp craft knife to make your graphics glow. Start by finding some reference artwork for your design. You can find your team's logo and then save the file to your computer and open it in your favorite vector graphics software. I'm using Illustrator, but there's also Inkscape, which is free and open source. One of the most powerful tools in your vector suite is the Bezier line tool, which looks like a pen on the icon. At first it can be tricky to wrap your head around how it works, but hopefully you'll get the hang of it and have a lot of fun with it too. It's my favorite tool in Illustrator. So I've just uh, changed my stroke to be just that, a stroke with no fill, so I'm just outlining, and then I changed my color to bright green so you can better a little bit see what I'm doing. So to start, just click, drag, click, drag to identify your anchor points and tangent lines. And when you get to an area where there's an angle or a corner, you click, drag your first tangent line and then press the option button to free the second tangent line from being perfectly parallel to the first. Uh, one of my favorite things about this tool is that you can kind of rough in the shape by creating as many anchor points as you think you'll need and then go back later and adjust those anchor points to get a perfect fit. Begin by outlining the shapes that you'd like to light up in your design. Uh, for me it's the beak of this bird and the letter B. And because we're going to cut a vinyl sticker, you'll also need to include a big outline shown here in pink around your entire design, which will form the border of your EL panel. And then the vinyl sticker will block out light where you don't want it to shine through and highlight those shapes that you do. Get a better look by hiding the image layer and get ready to send your artwork to your vinyl cutter. To figure out what size to make it, you should measure the logo on your helmet with calipers. Now look at your art to figure out the boundary size of its lines and then match that up with the appropriate shapes on the helmet, um, but it's still gonna require a little bit of trial and error. I'm using a plugin for Illustrator that'll work with my Silhouette machine, which I'll link to in the description below this video. And in its cut dialog box, you can put an output size right in there, and then you don't have to worry about um, scaling it in Illustrator. There are also material settings to adjust the speed and depth of the blade. Peel the sticker off the backing with a pair of tweezers. Uh, depending on how delicate your sticker ends up being, you can go back to your artwork and thicken some of your borders if you want to make the sticker easier to apply. You want to test out the sizing by peeling out a big shape and placing it directly on the helmet. If it lines up perfectly, great, you're done. But most likely it'll be the slightly wrong size, either maybe stretched a little bit in one direction because the helmet's curved and you need to accommodate for that, uh, or just plain old too small or too big. So uh, go back to your dimensions and keep experimenting and cutting a new sticker until you're happy with the way it sits on the helmet. And then you'll make the final one, which you can put on your EL panel. Don't peel this final sticker yet. Some of those lines are kind of delicate still, and to get the best results possible, you'll want to stick this entire piece of vinyl to the EL panel, and then use tweezers to pick up the pieces you don't need. That'll minimize shifting in the design. To finish up, cut carefully around your design with a very sharp craft knife and a pair of scissors. A sharper blade is actually safer in this project because you're less likely to use too much force and accidentally stab or slice yourself. While we're on a safety kick, let's talk about plugging it into the inverter. You can see that uh, my design needs a little bit of touch up after I light it up. Well, just remember to turn it off again before you apply that metal blade. EL panel, although low amperage, uses high volts and it will sting you uh, with a little bit of a shock if you're not careful. 
Route the wires and use double stick tape to apply the design to the helmet. If you want to put this somewhere where it might touch your skin, just stick the thing in the laminator or use some packing tape to insulate that electrified edge. To make a pair of dueling Super Bowl helmets, repeat with the other team's logo, and uh, you can plug everything into one inverter. Now since this EL panel is a lot smaller than uh, it originally was, it uses less power. So both of these logos are running off of one 4 AAA battery EL inverter uh, available in the Adafruit store. Subscribe for more wearable Wednesday projects and enjoy this Sunday Super Bowl. Will the 49ers win? Quote the Ravens, nevermore.